Wastewater Dam presents wastewater math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com. Today's example, calculate pipe volume in gallons. Today's problem reads, the main pipeline is 825 feet long and 18 inches in diameter. Calculate the pipe volume in gallons. So there's two th uh, special considerations um, for solving uh, this type of problem. And one of them is uh, to recognize that the formula uh, that we use here for this type of problem, as the formula for calculating the volume in a pipe, is the same formula that we use for calculate the volume in a circular tank. And the other main consideration uh, in these problems is to recognize that when you are given the uh, the diameter, it's in inches, but the diameter has to be inserted into the formula as feet. So if you take those two considerations in mind, you can get this formula. Gallons equals diameter in feet times diameter in feet times the conversion factor uh, for the surface area of a square to the surface area of a circle, which is the 0.785, times the length of the pipe, which is the, uh, um, the length uh, in which there is water, uh, that's in feet, times the conversion factor from cubic feet uh, to gallons. Um, so that's the formula. Gallons equals diameter times diameter times 0.75 times length times 7.48. Let's see how we insert that in an Excel spreadsheet. So you can open up a blank spreadsheet. Uh, you put your cursor in C1. You can put in description, calculate pipe volume in gallons. Put your cursor in A1. You can format it as numbers with zero decimals. You can set it as bold and centered. And then you can go to the formula bar and you can type in this formula. Equal sign, four open parentheses, 18. Close parentheses, division key, 12. Close parentheses, multiplication key, two open parentheses. 18, close parenthesis, division key, 12. Multiplication key, open parenthesis, 0.785. Two close parentheses, multiplication key, open parenthesis, 825. Two close parenthesis, multiplication key, open parenthesis, 7.48, close parenthesis. And then you can press enter or the return key, and then A1 will be your answer, 10,900 gallons uh, based on this data. So this is a... Um, uh, this is a solution to calculate the volume in a pipe which utilizes a circular, uh, the same um, formula that we use in calculating uh, the volume in a circular tank. So I have a bonus video that I have previously published. I'm just going to refer to the video here for you. Uh, this was a video where I calculated gallons in a circular tank. You can actually go to my YouTube channel and up in the search bar, you can just type in there, wastewater day and calculate gallons of circular tank. And uh, this UR video will come up, or you can just go straight to this uh, URL. Uh, that's actually a, um, another video um, that uses the same formula. It's just it's, it's calculating um, the volume in a circular tank instead of the volume uh, in a pipe. So I hope you have... Uh, found this four minute video to be useful and helpful. helpful. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also uh, encourage you to participate, interact uh, by commenting or asking questions, submitting other problems you'd like me to solve for you. Uh, you can do that through my website, environmentalacademy.com. Uh, you can fill out and submit an email form or send me a message to the email address on the webpage. But in any event, um, Come back often because I'll be uh, publishing videos uh, at least uh, uh, once weekly. Um, and thanks for listening and see you soon.